Hi, this is Jim Gibson with Creative Painting and Waterproofing. I want to take just a minute this morning to talk to you about painting vertical pickets and horizontal rails. I get asked this question a lot by other painters and contractors. What do you charge to paint the pick and rail? And my standard answer is always go high or stay home. And I'm going to tell you why, but I'm going to give you a good answer too. Painting the pick and rails, particularly on the repaints, is tough. What I have found is, is the pressure wash pass just doesn't get the vertical pickets clean enough on all four sides. So what I do is, is after I power wash, before I'm ready to prep them, I go back and I individually hand clean each vertical picket. Okay, once all the pickets are clean, I go back and scrape and sand all the vertical pickets on all four sides and this is very important. The next step is, is the first coat of paint. And I always use a soft bristled brush for the first coat of paint and I lay the paint off thin and I'll tell you why. What that'll do is, is that'll light those vertical pickets up where you can see what you actually missed on the first process of the scrape and sand. Okay, so after I've made the second pass on the scrape and sand, then I switch to a semi-rigid bristle brush and it's very important that it's semi-rigid and I lay down my second coat of paint the thing about pick and rail is is typically they're at someone's front door and they're a very focal point the pick and rail on the repaints has to be flawless it has to be perfect it makes everything stand out it lights up the porch it's tough work and you got to stay with the pick and rail you got to get the pick and rail right you just have to get it right. This is Jim Gibson with Creative Painting and Waterproofing. Check us out on Facebook or www.creativepaintingandwaterproofing.com.